Why do we always attract the same type? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to dive into a topic that so many of us experience. Why we keep attracting the same type of person over and over again in dating and relationships. Whether it's dating people who are emotionally unavailable, who have commitment issues, who are controlling, who struggle with addiction, or any other pattern, so many of us feel stuck in a cycle of repeating the same relationship struggles. We date person after person, but keep finding ourselves in similar unhealthy dynamics that leave us feeling frustrated, confused, and hopeless about love. In this video, I want to break down the main reasons why we attract the same type repeatedly and what we can do to break this cycle. Stick around, because recognizing these patterns is the first step to creating new, healthy relationships. Let's get into it. Reason one, we are subconsciously attracted to the familiar. Even when consciously, logically, we know a certain type of person is bad for us. Subconsciously, we feel comfortable and familiar with similar personality traits behaviors, and energy to our past. We are drawn to the familiar as a protective mechanism. We know what to expect, even if it's not positive. Breaking out of this requires becoming aware of the pull to the familiar and consciously seeking new experiences. Reason two, we have underlying, unresolved wounds. Often when we attract the same negative relationships repeatedly, it's because they are triggering emotional wounds and pain points from our past that need healing. For example, someone who had an absent father may seek unavailable men who recreates the abandonment pain. Or someone who grew up with a controlling parent may attract controlling partners because that dynamic feels comfortable and familiar. Doing inner child work, reparenting our wounds, and working through core trauma can help us stop recreating painful dynamics. Reason three, we think we don't deserve better, low self-worth and limiting beliefs about what we deserve can trap us in bad relationships. If you grew up with critical, abusive, or manipulative dynamics, you may subconsciously believe deep down that you don't deserve a loving, healthy partner. Doing wordiness and confidence work, setting boundaries, learning to say no, and embracing self-love helps us break this pattern. Reason four, we haven't healed from past relationships. Often we attract a similar partner to our ex because we jumped into dating before we did the work to heal, regain self-love, and identify red flags after a breakup or divorce. Doing the post-breakup inner work to process the pain, extract lessons, rediscover your worth beyond the relationship, set new standards and identify non-negotiables for healthy relating can prevent repeating the cycle. Reason five, we don't have a strong sense of self when we lack a strong connection to ourselves, our needs, boundaries, goals, and deal breakers it's easy to get into relationships that don't serve or respect us. Cultivating self-knowledge, self-trust, and self-confidence makes us less likely to accept subpar treatment and prevents us from shape-shifting to please unhealthy partners. Get to know yourself deeply and what you truly want and need. Reason six, we haven't expanded our dating pool. Reason seven, we ignore red flags initially. If we date within the same small social circles, handouts, apps, scenes, it's natural to encounter the same types repeatedly. Some reflection on your usual type and getting out of your comfort zone to meet new people in new places. Groups and circles can introduce you to fresh romantic prospects that break the pattern. Sometimes we're so eager to couple up or anxious to avoid loneliness that we overlook glaring red flags, incompatibilities, and signs of toxicity early on. Then we act shocked when the person ends up treating us poorly, getting centered in self-love, tuning into your intuition, 
pinpointing deal breakers, vetting carefully early on, and being willing to be rejected versus accepting crumbs prevents repeating bad patterns. Reason 8. We don't have relationship role models when we lack relationship role models growing up with healthy intimacy, communication, conflict resolution, and interdependence. It's hard to know what positive partnership even looks like. Finding mentors, learning relationship skills, unlearning dysfunction, studying experts on intimacy, and going to therapy helps us create new templates for flourishing love. Reason 9. We feel pressure to make it work after a few dates. It's easy to idealize someone and get attached quickly, causing us to ignore issues and try to force a dysfunctional match. Reminding ourselves other options exist, staying grounded in deal breakers, and giving a new relationship time and space to unfold organically rather than committing prematurely prevents settling for unhealthy. Reason 10. We've built walls as protection, past heartbreaks or childhood emotional neglect can cause us to build walls around our heart as protection. But walls that block pain also block love. Doing the inner work to heal, open up slowly, learn to be vulnerable, communicate needs, set boundaries, etc. can prevent walls from pushing away healthy new love. How to break the cycle. 1. Take time to heal after a breakup and identify lessons. 2. Write down your positive relationship needs and don't compromise. 3. Identify repeating red flags and commit to avoiding them. 4. Examine your unconscious attraction patterns and childhood wounds. 5. Expand your social and dating circles to meet diverse personalities. 6. Cultivate self-love self-confidence and a strong sense of self. 7. Listen to your intuition. Don't rationalize away red flags. 8. Slow down relationship pace so infatuation doesn't blur judgment. 9. Seek mentors and role models of healthy relating to new templates. 10. Do confidence and wordiness practices to feel deserving of love. 11. Set and enforce strong boundaries around how you allow yourself to be treated. 12. Do inner child work to heal emotional wounds causing relational patterns. 13. Seek professional support if patterns feel beyond your control. 14. Be willing to let go of mismatches quickly versus trying to force a fit. 15. Trust your ability to handle being single. Don't couple up just out of fear. In summary, many forces subconsciously draw us towards familiar relationship dynamics, even if they are painful or unhealthy. With awareness, inner work, slowing down, expanding your horizons, and learning new relational skills, though, you can break destructive relationship patterns for good. You absolutely deserve nourishing, supportive love settle for nothing less, and don't lose hope. Now over to you. What insights around why we repeat relationship patterns resonated most? Share in the comments. Our role. That sums up my main thoughts on why we often attract and repeat the same relationship problems over and over again. Understanding the roots of relationship patterns is the first step to transforming them. Don't lose hope. With some personal development work, you absolutely can create the consciously, reciprocally loving partnership you desire. I hope this video brought you some clarity and guidance. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other insights into why we repeat relationship cycles. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content to support your self-love and relationship growth journey. I appreciate you and look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.